Hey everybody, as you can tell by my very creepy eyes, I'm gonna do a makeup of this creepy yet kind of cute spider queen. Today's video is being brought to you by my eyes, specifically these amazing sclera contact lenses by Sam Hain Contact Lenses himself who makes them. You should definitely check out his amazing contact lens website if you want some extreme lenses. If you do like professional sets or makeup, you should definitely check him out. And his contact lenses are like pieces of art and definitely inspired me to create this beautiful makeup of the Spider Queen. So let's get started and try to turn into this gory yet cute Spider Queen makeup. First of all, I'm just gonna put a wig cap on so that your girl has her bangs out of her face. Those baby hairs are gonna be up and vanished. You could wear a cute top like I am and definitely flatten down those eyebrows with some glue stick and powder. You know the drill. Put a layer of glue, let that set a little bit, get a little tacky to put some powder on. Do about two to four layers, depending on how thick your eyebrow hairs are, of glue and powder, waiting for each layer to completely dry before moving on to the next so that our brows look like they've up and vanished, like someone shaved them off so that we have a flat surface to paint on since spiders don't have brows. Now I'm just getting a makeup face primer. This is the expensive Bougie Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. I love the smell of it. I love the way it makes my skin feel and the foundation lays flat and beautiful on it. Speaking of foundation, I'm using this Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation just to get rid of it because this one's not my color. It's a little too light for me. So I am using a foundation brush just to brush that in, which leaves a little bit too much streaks in my opinion because my holy grail brushes were all used up and dirty at this moment in time. So I used a little bit of the Beauty Blender just to blend out those streaks, girl. My favorite beauty sponge is actually the 3D HD sponge by Sigma Beauty. And I'm gonna blend in some concealer around my nose where I have redness and definitely on those eyebrows. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, Miss Holy Grail Concealer. And I'm gonna use another concealer that's a little lighter, one of my all-time favorites, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer between my eyebrows and then I'm gonna set it with some powder, just straight powder, not even blending it. That's how confident I am with the makeup today because I had to film this twice, FYI, because it was out of focus at first and that sucks. But it is in focus now, especially with this white face base from Makeup Forever. I love this cream white face base. Kimberly Margarita, have you heard of her? She's amazing, color creep on YouTube. She told me about this white face base and I had to get my hands on it and it's amazing. I used it for my geisha makeup when I did my Japanese project on my family history. I'm just putting that under my eyeballs, on my cheekbones, blending it into the skin. It blends so beautifully with your fingers and a brush. Putting it on the tip of my nose as well. That Cupid's bow that you guys know and love and my chin. I'm also putting it on my jawline to make my face look more angular and blend it out with a sponge and putting that in the center of my forehead, blending it up into my hairline. You want to bounce a beauty sponge and pat motion so that you don't disturb the foundation underneath this white face base and powder all that down with a giant powder puff and some translucent setting powder. Like the RCMA no color powder is my holy grail. Or you can use baby powder if you're on a budget girl. If you want to bring some livelihood to your face and some dimension, I am getting some contour powder. This is one of my favorite contours for spooky season. It's a Lunatic Cosmetics Lab contouring palette in my cheekbones, on my hairline, and definitely under that chin. And I also get it with a fluffy blending brush to contour and snatch that nose together, make my nose more angular and on the bottom of my nose as well and the bridge of it. Then I'm gonna get some black aqua paint. This is by Wolf Effects. As you can see, I'm doing these black dots all across my face, mostly around where my brows used to be and my eyes. These are gonna be new eyeballs. Yep, I'm just snatching and creating new eyes in this look. Since spiders have more than one eye, why not make multiples in different spots? I know spiders' eyes are usually symmetrical, meaning they have the same amount of numbers on each side of the face, but I want it to be different. I want to put the eyes in different places, make it look more whimsical, like a character from a storybook. Make it look 
like a cross between a spider eye and my eye with these sclera lenses. As you can see, I got a liquid black liner to really do the detail on these eyeballs, do a little bit of eyelids. Then I got my P. Louise concealer that everyone uses. It's bougie, it's very light and thick and creamy, but it makes your eye makeup pop. Just set it off. I'm putting that around my eyelid, around those fake eyes I drew on, then getting my Morphe 35B Sadly Discontinued Sister Makeup Palette that I know and love. This eyeshadow palette's my favorite, getting the red color, and as you can see, I'm putting it on the eye, then using the concealer on the other eye, and with the red eyeshadow from that Morphe palette that no longer exists, it's like a unicorn that I miss. But I'm putting it around those fake eyes. I'm doing like a smoked out look with it going up in like a triangle. Speaking of red, I got this red cream paint from this palette I have, and I'm putting that near the base of my fake eyes and real eyes making it look kind of bloody. I want it to look like flames, but red flames. So it's gonna be darker and more pigmented the closer it gets to my eyeballs, my mini eyeballs, and then fade out into the red eyeshadow into my white face base. Then I got some matte black eyeshadow to make it darker around those eyes, give it some definition. And on the tip of my nose. I don't know why I did that, I just thought it looked cooler. I wanted to make it look like a spider, but she would used to be a human. That's why I want the nose to stay there and be defined. Then I got some white cream paint, the same one I use on my face base with a very tiny detail brush to get into the corners of those fake eyeballs I drew on my face. Detail is everything in this. You could do some highlight marks on the eyeballs and on top of the eyelids. Then I got that same hydro black color, the aqua paint from Wolf FX. And with a very thin brush, I'm making these like antenna broken looking spider legs that come from the bridge of my nose to my forehead. I don't know why I did it. I just think it looks creepier and it looks very insect-like. And we want a hybrid human insect for this video. I'm just kind of designing this look as I go. Then you can get some liquid black eyeliner, but I just got the watercolor with a paintbrush and I made some very thick eyeliner that's very cat-like. You want something dramatic and extreme. I wish I could use aqua paint as liner every day of my life. I don't know if that would work because it's so much easier to use than eyeliner in my opinion. Speaking of eyeliner, I got my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean to color in the waterline of my eye. But I'm putting some aqua paint of some lashes underneath them on the bottom lash line just to make my eyes pop because we're gonna put some fake lashes on later. Speaking of fake lashes, I'm also painting some fake lashes on the fake eyeballs that we did across her face. Just look a little bit more cute and not too creepy spider-esque. Then getting the same white paint we've been using with a tiny brush to make the fangs. On the outer corner of our mouth near our cheeks, I'm making these white fangs. Then I'm getting a very detailed paintbrush with that black aqua paint to do the thin lines to outline those fangs to give it more detail, make some skin around the edge of them, puncturing out to make it look like it's really attached to my face a little bit. Put some detail of some shadow marks. I just got the contour colors with a very tiny pencil brush to do some shadows around the fangs to make it look a little bit more real. Then I got this beautiful black lipstick from Wet n Wild. It's from their new Fantasy Makers collection this holiday season. It has a little bit of shine to it. And I'm making my lips a little bit more like a Joker smile towards the fangs a little bit to do some detail. Then getting this Pop Beauty beautiful shimmer eyeshadow color. It's like a glitter effect. It's my favorite on my lips. Getting that white face paint again, but on our collarbones and on our shoulders, just as blobs, and then we're gonna blend it out with the brush and our fingertips to warm it up, to blend it nicely into the skin. We're making the high points highlighter marks on our skin to make it look sharper edged, to give our decollete, our collarbones, some dimension. Speaking of dimension, we're also gonna contour in those collarbones as well on both sides before getting a brown cream color to start coloring in this extra little effect we're gonna do on our chest area. I'm doing a slit on my chest. I know that sounds gory, and this is gonna sound even creepier, especially if you have arachnophobia like me. But as you can see with this black aqua paint, I'm painting a spider, not just any spider, a black widow popping out from our chest. 
where our heart would be, the spider just ate it and is crawling out of our chest cavity. Looking at reference pictures, tattoo photos give me so much inspiration. I'll link down below the tattoo photo of the spider if I could find it, because I just found it on Google. I also did some effects of shadow marks under the spider to make it look real like it's crawling on me with some gray cream paint and do that gray cream paint on the highlight marks of the butt of our Black Widow. Then I go over that gray cream paint near the legs with some matte black eyeshadow and a very tiny detailed brush. Using that matte black eyeshadow to do more shade marks on the slit coming out of our chest and some cream blush to do some irritation of our skin that's being cracked open as the spider comes out of our chest area. And no Black Widow would be complete without a red hourglass symbol on its butt. It needs to be loud and proud about its booty, so we're painting that red mark. Getting some white cream paint, it kind of looks like I'm trying to make eyeballs, but there are highlight marks on the spider to make the shine glisten off of its hairy or stick like creepy legs of spiders that I don't like so much that it makes them crawl. Then I got some fake blood dripping out of this spider's legs where it crawled out of my chest and near my mouth with the fangs a little bit bloody too. Why not? It's Halloween, go all out if you can. Then I'm gonna curl my eyelashes because we're gonna prep them with some mascara and some false gigantic eyelashes that I also got from Wet n Wild. These look like wings from a bird. These eyelashes are so long, but they're very cute and they're fitting for this creepy spider. Speaking of creepiness, I also got these amazing fangs from MostlyDead.com. You should definitely check them out for your Halloween accessories like prosthetics and fangs and just little props and everything. They have beautiful, amazing fangs and they're so good with their customer service. I got these very long fangs as you can see. Popped them in my mouth. Then putting this complicated top back on from Fashion Nova, it just looks like a creepy queen top. Then I'm gonna get this black, slick, bobbed kind of hair look that I used for my Kylie video, if you've seen that on my YouTube channel. Then I got an extra special huge spider that I had to put on my head. I just hot glued this spider, that's a Halloween decoration to a headband, and just put it on the back of my head, cause I'm crafted like that. We love a crafty mom. And with that, we are completely done with this Spider Queen makeup transformation inspired by these amazing contact lenses. Definitely check out the amazing Chuck Silva that makes these contact lenses. He makes the best contact lenses I've ever seen in my entire life. So you should definitely check out his Sam Hain contact lens studio website online. If you're skilled in sclera lenses, these sclera lenses could get uncomfortable. Just make sure you don't put makeup on them if you ever wear sclera lenses. It just gives those eyes the greatest look. If you can't put these in or can't use contact lenses, I don't blame you. You could definitely edit your eyes, but definitely check out his website if you're experienced in contact lenses. But this look came out so creepy. If you do this makeup or any makeup from my YouTube channel, please, please, please post it on your Instagram accounts this Halloween season and hashtag cat sketch so that I can see your makeup looks. All the products I use in this video, including these contact lenses, the amazing fangs that MostlyDead.com gave me, will be listed down in the description box below. And now it's time to turn back into a human from a spider queen. These contact lenses, girl, they're crazy. You have to pop them out like little ping pong balls out of your eyes. And my shower was covered in black and white makeup. I feel like it's permanently gonna be like that till Halloween's over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below on any other makeup looks you would love to see next. I love your ideas. You guys are so crafty and unique and have great ideas yourself. I worked so hard on this video, I had to film it twice because my camera was out of focus. The full time I did this and this makeup takes over two hours each time. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. It was well worth all the work and wait. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, love you all. Bye.